Rancho La Brea, the place of tar, where asphalt seeped up, trapping the last great mammals of the Ice Age. Here, a single site has produced more saber-toothed cats than almost anywhere on Earth. People have known about the sticky seeps since before Los Angeles had streets. By the late 1800s, bones recovered from the pits had already caught scientists' attention. Systematic excavation and study accelerated in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, turning Rancho La Brea into a scientific treasure chest. The sheer abundance of carnivores here stunned early investigators. It didn't make sense until they realized the pits were predator traps. Smilodon, the iconic saber-toothed cat, is not a tiger, but a distinct branch of felids, adapted for ambush and close-up killing. At Rancho La Brea, we find thousands of individuals spanning hundreds of thousands of years, offering an unprecedented view into their lives. The tar acted as a natural death trap. Herbivores attracted by trapped animals lured carnivores. Over time, repeated entrapments left a concentration of predators, dire wolves, coyotes, and hundreds of Smilodon bones stacked like pages in a book. When we excavate a pit, we're reading a crowded scene, behaviorally rich preservation that you rarely find elsewhere. With thousands of specimens, scientists can move beyond guesses to statistics. Tooth breakage, healed injuries, and joint pathologies tell a nuanced story of diet, competition, and social life. Studies of broken canines and worn teeth suggest Smilodon sometimes nod more bone than expected. A hint of fierce competition and changing food availability near the end of the Pleistocene. Joint defects and other pathologies that inform population health and stress in the last Smilodon populations. Pathologies are like life histories. They show injury, healing, even cooperative care in some cases. From meticulous field excavation to isotopic analysis and 3D tomography, modern techniques are unlocking questions once beyond reach. Isotope chemistry can reconstruct diets and seasonal movement. High-resolution scans reveal bone microstructure and disease. Rancho La Brea's collections remain a living laboratory for paleontology. Smilodon vanished as the Pleistocene closed. Radiocarbon dating places many Rancho La Brea Smilodon specimens toward the end of the last ice age, within the final millennia before the megafaunal extinctions. The reasons are complex. Climate shifts, the loss of prey, human impacts, and ecological change likely acted together. The La Brea record gives us the high-resolution snapshot we need to ask how and why. We still find surprises. Every time we reassess old bones with new tools, they speak in a clearer voice. From bones and sticky asphalt to data on screens, the saber-toothed cats of La Brea have become storytellers for a lost world and teachers for our own. They remind us how fragile ecosystems can be and how much the past still informs the present. Rancho La Brea. Still digging, still learning.